Hello, and welcome to Algebra 1, SOL Prep, Week 12, Square and Cube Roots. To evaluate a square root or a cube root, here's a reminder of the buttons that we need to press. Second x squared for the square root, or math 4 for the cubed root. Sometimes having a list of perfect squares is helpful. These are directions that will help us. Or a list of perfect cubes is helpful. And again, these are directions that will help us with that. Often, we're using, we're doing multiple choice questions and we want to find simplest form. Like this example. Number one, written in simplest radical form, square root of 24 is equal to which of these? Now while these are multiple choice answers, we don't need to store any variable, any numbers for variables, because we don't have any variables. We're simply going to type this into the calculator. Going to my calculator, I'm going to type square root, which is second, and then the x squared button, because the square root is there in blue right above it, and then 24. And then I'm going to write down lots of digits of what I see here, like 4.898979, something like that, as many as I can. And then I'm going to see which one matches when I type this, these into the calculator as well. However, when it says simplest form, I want to think of how simple means small. So I want to type the smallest or the least that's in the radical first, like the square root of 2. Those are smaller than the square root of 6. So I'm going to type those first to see if one of those matches. So the 2 and then the square root of 2. 2, second x squared, 2. That is a different value, 2.828. Because it does not match this, g is not the correct answer. Let's try 4 square roots of 2. 4, second x squared, 2. 5.656. So J is not the correct answer. So now I'm going to try the other ones and see if one of those matches. 2 square root of 6. You'll notice I started with one that has a smaller number because simple means small. And there we go, 4.89897, etc. This one does match. So F is the correct choice. Number two, five square roots of 10 is equivalent to, the word equivalent means equal, which means the same. So like I did the other one, I'm going to type in the original problem first. Let's clear what I have. Five second X squared, 10, and let's write down that value, 15.811. Now I'm trying to see which one matches. This time it doesn't say simplest, so I'm just going to type in each of these choices. Second, x squared, 2,500. That gives me 50. So because 50 does not match this, this is not the correct answer. Second, x squared, 250. And that one is equivalent, equal, 15.811. So B is the correct answer. Example number three, which is equivalent to square root of 50x squared, y to the seventh, z to the eighth. Now this one does have variables. So when it has variables, I want to store numbers into each of those variables, starting with the number three. So I see there's an X. I'm going to store three for X. I see there's a Y, so pick a different number, four for Y. And I see there's a third letter, so pick the next number up, five for Z. Now we'll go to our calculator and store those values. 
I always type the number first, three, and then the store button, X, enter, four, store. Now the Y is above one in green, so alpha, one, and then five for Z. Five, store, alpha, two to get the Z. Now my calculator will know to plug in three for X, four for Y, and five for Z. I'm going to type this original radical in the question. Second, square root, type it just like it says, 50 x squared, alpha one for y, the exponent button, seven, now we arrow right to get out of the exponent, and then z to the eight. Alpha two to get z, exponent button, eight. Press enter, and we write down this value, one, six, nine, seven, zero, five, six, point two seven five now remember equivalent means equal which means same so we want to see which of these are the same value as this when I type them in so I'm going to type in each of these until I see the one that has the same value let's get started with choice a five X Alpha one for y, it has an exponent of three, so to the third, arrow to the right. Now I can press alpha two to get z, exponent button, to the fourth, arrow to the right, and then square root of two y. Second, x squared for square root, two, alpha one for the y, enter. Oh good, I was lucky and it was the first choice. That one is equivalent. I could keep checking and why not? We have as much time as we want for this SOL, but I'm not. Choice A is the correct answer. Number four, which is equivalent to cubed root of 40 in simplest form? So there's that word simplest. We wanna think of small or least in the radical. So notice the cubed root of two and the cubed root of two are smaller than the cubed roots of five. So I'm gonna start with those when I'm checking the answer choices. Let's find cubed root of 40. So remember, cubed root is in the math menu, choice four, math four. And then I can type 40, enter, and I'm gonna write down this value, 3.4199. Is what this value is and I'm gonna check the ones first that are at the simplest radical 5 on the outside and then I need cubed root of 2 so math 4 2 enter that's a different value 6.299 so that is not the correct choice and then 4 cubed root math 4 2 enter 5.039, that is not the correct answer either. We've checked the ones that have the simplest radicals. Now I'm going to check this one because the number outside is small. Two, math four for cubed root, five, enter, and that one matches 3.4199. That is equivalent, that is the same Choice A is the correct answer. Number five, identify each expression that is in simplest radical form. Each expression means that there might be more than one answer that I'm going to select. Now I want the simplest form, but unlike the other examples, I don't have something to compare it to, and these are variables, so that makes it a little bit different. So sometimes we're gonna have to do our real math and not just use the store button, but finding the list of perfect squares will be helpful, so let's at least try to use that in our calculator. So we'll go to y equals, and we'll type x squared, and then we go to second graph to see the table. And these numbers to the 
right are the perfect squares. I'm going to scroll down so we don't see negative numbers. I only want to see the positive numbers. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. These right here are my perfect squares. So I don't want to see any numbers inside the radical that can be divided by a perfect square or that equal a perfect square. For example, I see 25 in my list, and I know that 50 can be divided by 25. 50 divided by 25 makes 2. And because 25 is a perfect square, there's still a perfect square in this radical. So this is not in simplest radical form. Similarly, 12 can be divided by a perfect square. Looking at this list of y values, what number divides into 12? 4. 12 can be divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is exactly 3. And 4 is a perfect square. So this is not in simplest form. But 2 is not in my list of perfect squares, nor can it be divided by anything in that list. Well, of course, everything can be divided by 1. So let's get 1 off that list, too. Now we have to look at the variables. But this is only x to the first and y to the first and x to the first. So both of these are in simplest form. If we saw anything bigger than 1 in our exponent, then it would not be in simplest form. So I will select these two choices. Number 6. Choose the expression that simplifies to 5x times the cube root of xy squared. Simplifies to this. So another way to say equal or is the same as this, it simplifies to this, which means it can, it can make this as well. So this is another spot where we can use our store button to help us. I have two variables, x and y. I'm going to store 3 for x, I always start with 3, and 4 for y. Now if you remember, we stored these values in earlier, so I don't need to store them again because I didn't store them as anything else after I stored them. So 3 is already x and 4 is already y. If we want to make sure, we can do it again just to verify 4 store y. Now I'll know that it's surely done. So let's type this in, 5x, 5x, cubed root, math, 4 for cubed root, x, y, squared. That value is 54.5136. And we can see which of these is the same as this, because if it's the same, it would simplify to that expression. So I'm going to type in each one of those. And when it's like this, where we can select them, it might be more than one. So we do have to type all of them in. Math, 4 for cubed root, 5x to the fourth, exponent 4, arrow out of the exponent, and then alpha 1 for y squared. This does not match, so this is not an expression that simplifies. Let's type in the others. After typing in all of them, I see that the only correct choice was the last one, 54.5136, just like this value. So the other ones did not match. This is the expression that matches. Hope you got something out of this. Have fun practicing.